I'm going to be changing the clutch in this car in 24 hours. And Ryan doesn't know it yet, but if we get this done, I'm going to give him his very first car as a gift. Huge thanks to Darkside Development, who supplied me with this upgraded Sax SRE clutch and look flywheel for more power, baby. And with that said, let's see if we can get this done in 24 hours. So it's half past four. Let's get on with it. So after Will pelted himself in the face with the jack handle, the first step was to jack the car up and get it on axle stands high enough to get the gearbox out from under it. You good? Next was to remove all of the under tray bolts with an 8mm socket and also cut all the zip ties holding it on to get the under tray out of the way. Cheers. After that, we have this metal support bracket under the exhaust that's held on with eight torque bolts we need to remove. And as I said, if we can get this done in 24 hours, I'll be giving Ryan its very first car as a gift at the end of the video. I've known him over 10 years and he's a great friend. He's just passed his driving test, but he's struggling to buy a car, so I thought it'd be great to be able to get him in a car and get him driving right now. But first, we've got to change this clutch. So after removing the A-frame support brace, we removed one clamp off the downpipe. Yeah, I think you might need some WD. It do not get much easier than that, does it? No. Can you see? Can I? Can the camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're looking the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and then remove all the rubber hangers with WD-40 and a long screwdriver. Nice. Now we have access to all the heat shields, so they come off and we can start getting the prop out of the way. Spin it a little bit, mate. Turn the handbrake off. Yeah, compression's oh, yeah. well, have you got handbrake on? Oh, no. <laughs> it helps if you take the handbrake off and you can turn the prop shaft to gain access to each bolt and undo them with a ratchet on one end and a spanner on the other. Oh, basically. There. Last time. Oh, yeah, it was a bit stiff, but after a few tries, we got the prop shaft centre bearing and prop shaft disconnected from the Grebos. There you go. Right. So it's six o'clock. I'm going to pause the timer for an hour because someone wants to come look at the Tuareg from the last video. So I'm going to hopefully sell that, come back and restart again. So far, we've got prop shaft is out, all the heat shields are out, exhaust is fully out, pretty much gearbox coming out next. Woo. Buzzing. But if you want to see that Tuareg flip from start to finish, watch that but watch this video first. And on to the fiddly bit. We had to disconnect the gear linkages which connect the gearbox to your gear shifter inside the car and there's a few awkward clips. I think there's four, but after maybe about half an hour we managed to get those off. Um, there we go. We'll just, uh, yeah, so that's that's completely free now. Gearboxes disconnected, ear boys. And we could start on doing the gearbox bell housing bolts from the engine. Some of them were really tight and some of them were quite loose. But we got all the easy access ones out of the way first and then had to drop the gearbox mounts to give us access to the bolts at the very top of the bell housing. Ready? Yeah. Go on. Go, 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 go. After trying to crack them off, we realised that we needed some lube. No. Missed. 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 <laughs> Yeah. With a bit of lube and extra leverage from more extensions, we got them freed off and undone. Yeah? Yeah, you're spinning the bolt. You're spinning the bolt. Oh, Josh. Yeah? Now I can admit to you how absolutely chewed this bolt got, and I really didn't think it was coming out for a second. Yeah. Bolt. Oh, Almost forgot about the clutch life cylinder, but we removed that, even if it was just one click at a time. You really gonna make me I don't know what else to do. <laughs> it's also hilarious. Can you speed this up, please? It's gonna look really stupid to put up my head. <laughs> it looked like normal. <laughs> Some good practice. There you, there you go. There you go. And after everything was disconnected, it was finally time to remove the gearbox. Also, I thought. I can see a bolt. <laughs> Yeah. So it's half nine now, so we've been at it for three and a half hours. We've got all the bolts out of the bell housing except the two on the very top, so we're on them now. After that the gearbox will be on the ground, so we're doing really well for three and a half hours to be honest. I didn't think we'd get this far, but a bit of pizza and back onto it. I had to get back under the car and remove those final two bolts at the very top of the gearbox. We really struggled with this and it took a long time. The bolt of no. destiny! <laughs> Yeah, baby. There is one more bolt to go in, and it belongs there. 
They're only good sticks. Where's left? Upwards. Oh, there you go, she got, she got, she got. Bolt. Last bolt. Yay. On the bell I was in. It's on its way out. We have birds. Now it actually is time to straddle the gearbox and try and pull it away from the engine. Things are gonna work itself on this one. Man. Show me manly power. All right. Will right. <laughs> right. you all give him laughs like I'm gonna yeah. die? Got to lose your knob. You're on, you're on <laughs> this is a bad idea. Jim, you got your support. Oh my god, it's coming. Homemade circumcision part one. You need to be more up, Josh, if you can. Go on, right, you're away, you're away. Go on, 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 get right, come down, come down, yeah, come down. Yeah, you're right, that's on the floor now. Yep. Yeah. Right. You want to do a service on then? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You got it, right? Nah, see how deep it is. Oh, got a good couple of mil there. Four and a half hours in, the gearbox is out, I'm buzzing. But before surfacing the car, I went on to remove the clutch and flywheel from the car before the first day of this challenge was over, and that's when we found something very, very bad. Mate, that's not even attached. What the fuck? As you can see, there's something dramatically wrong with my engine mounts, which I'll sort in the next video, but we had no choice and to carry on and get this clutch replaced. Yeah. This is so cute, Ryan, we're touching heads. <laughs> Yeah, and... Um... What? I'm taking... What? I'm taking... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, we've had enough. It's 10 to midnight now. We managed to get the flywheel off, but we haven't got a flywheel locking, locking tool. So we're just going to use a plank of wood, but tomorrow morning we're going to get back and get the flywheel on, clutch on, gearbox on in about 20 minutes and then be doing burnouts and that, so yeah. So, Happy days! So, 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 so. And hopefully seeing Ryan's reaction to receiving his free car. So I just woke up, it's day two and it is about 10.22 in the morning. Tom's about to pick me up, we're going to go get some breakfast. With that hour and a half, knocked off the time because I had to show someone the car I'm selling. We've got until 6pm today, so from now, eight and a half hours to get the gearbox back on and everything buttoned up. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm back to do some more spannering. <laughs> yeah, guys, you know, we're giving Ryan his first car if we get this done. So put in the comments right now if you think you can guess what car it is. The only thing I think I'm going to say is it is the perfect first car. Oh, yeah. Very nostalgic. So we were going to pull the flywheel in, but we don't have a torque wrench. So we're going to get a torque wrench and seeing Tom's thoughts on Ryan's new car. It's freaking sick. It's a beast. She's smooth. Besides my absolutely poor manual driving, because I'm <laughs> used to an auto box these days. Tour wrench acquired, we can finally get back on it. But before we can get this uprated clutch installed, first we had to clean everything up and replace the pilot bearing. But again, a huge thank you to Darkside Developments because they hooked me up with these parts and allow me to give Ryan his first car. If you've got a diesel car and want more power, performance or economy, they stock all the parts you need at fantastic prices and can map it for you on their dyno. The team is great, really helpful, and all the links will be in the description below. Get shopping. Down. Nice bearing. Darkside! I feel like we should take this very sharp bit of metal off. Don't know what that's for, but it's coming off. I like that. This bit's my favourite. This bit's my favourite. <laughs> it's all brown and sticky. <laughs> I like rusty BMW. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere around there. Yeah. We're tightening them all to what, like 60 newton meters? It's 56 to start with. And then we'll go up to like 80 or 100 or something, and then the last the last torque spec is 120 in each one. And then this plank of wood is just wedged on the floor behind my leg to stop the flywheel turning. Hey. And then the pressure was on big time. We had about three hours left of this challenge and for us that did not seem like enough time at all. This was all because we spent about two hours trying to get this universal clutch alignment tool to work. However, it wasn't big enough to hold this clutch so instead we tightened up the pressure plate just enough where we could move the clutch disc and it would sit wherever we left it. Took the clutch alignment tool out and tried to line it up by eye. This is definitely not the ideal way to do this and I won't be surprised if the gearbox doesn't go in but we had no choice at this point. We talked up the pressure plate and jacked the box up to change the oil. We cracked the drain plug and drained the oil. 
Great that. Got a mask Some key action here. Then remove the fill plug, tighten the drain plug That's and torque it, one. and fill the box with oil. Long fill of it, isn't it? Yeah. So you need it's filter spill, so you just wow. fill it up with oil and tighten the fill plug once the oil is not draining out anymore. So when we were taking the bolts out of the gearbox bell housing, we wrote top and bottom, so we know which bolt goes where. We've got the, the new bolts because they're aluminium bolts, and obviously we've matched the old bolts with the new ones so we know where they go. And now it's time for this bad boy to get installed. Now was the moment of truth. After we lined the clutch up by eye, we weren't sure if this was ever going to line up, and we wrestled with it for about an hour, and then this happened. Hang on. Position of power. Yeah! But unfortunately that excitement was not long lived as we realised only an hour and a half was remaining to get all of those gearbox bolts back in, the gear linkages, mounts, braces, prop shaft and heat shield before we could finish this 24 hour <laughs> challenge and hopefully yeah. get to give Ryan his Go new car. As you can tell, it's definitely a two-person job. You need someone at the back of the gearbox to control the ratchet while someone else tries to get the socket onto the bolts and holds them on. These were really difficult and we struggled for, again, too long. I'm off for you. Eat them. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, yes, tighten it up. Sick! Oh. I think that's all of them. Right, every bolt is in. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's that? <laughs> Next up was the clutch slave cylinder, only two nuts, but you saw us take it off. It takes a while. After getting that on, we plugged back in the reverse sensor switch thing on the gearbox, tightened the gearbox mount back up, and we could finally drop that jack again and struggle with the gear linkages and those awkward little metal clips. And with that, we were running very low on time. We needed to get the prop shaft back in and only had about 25 minutes remaining on the clock before our 24 hours were up. The prop's not in, but we're gonna see what a straight pipe E91 sounds like. Do you wanna do the honors, Jamie? Yes, mate. <laughs> <laughs> And after that short break, it was the prop shaft. We were really running out of time and this didn't help as we struggled getting the two prop shafts to expand and meet both mounts at the same time, but we got there in the end. It's 5.43, so we've got 17 minutes. We've just got the prop in. We're trying to get the heat shield and the stand in. We're leaving the exhaust on. The boys got straight onto the support braces under the car and we couldn't be getting any closer to the time limit. <laughs> What's that one coming? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Four minutes. <laughs> oh. I think we're done. It's staying on. What, Jack? Yeah, to do the engine mounts. Now, get in your car and see if the wheels spin. <laughs> we're cheating a little bit. We've got th two minutes to spare. And we're not putting the exhaust on because tomorrow I'm going to have to replace the engine mounts. But we're going to check that the wheels spin. And I'm saying, Ryan, does it count? It does count. Sick! Here we go for it. Yeah, let's try. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Does that definitely count as changing the clutch in 24 hours? It definitely counts. And after doing my 500 miles bedding in period of careful miles, I can tell you, it was well worth the effort. It has no trouble holding all my extra ponies either. Yeah, boy.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, We're about to give him his first car. I think it's time to show you the car. Some of you will definitely been able to guess this. It's a Mark V Ford Fiesta. Hey, I'm shaking. I'm actually shaking. Oh, right. Excuse the very day. <laughs> That's registration to Ryan's new car. Mate, I'm actually shaking. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Go get Ryan. Tell him, tell him I've got a gift for him in, in yeah. Tom's car. Here we go. What, what are you doing here? Well <laughs> scared. Oh, it's just a little. Thanks for helping out. Oh, and, I feel, uh, feel and all the... special now. <laughs> it's in the boot. Ryan's first win! <laughs> yeah, you might. Please, no swearing for the YouTube channel. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> we were looking at this before. <laughs> I don't know what to say. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually Stick your head up all the way. <laughs> it's alright, it's summer. <laughs> Mate, I'm actually gassed as I don't even know what I'm gassed as And with that, he was off. Thanks to every single one of you for watching and making this sort of thing possible. Please consider subscribing and watch this video next. He died. <laughs> I was thinking.